It's been a long trip. Full of deer hunting and fishing and flinching and duck shooting and cracker shots and shit shots, motorbikes and holy moly cooking and the rest of it. An absolute pearl a week over in Kaikoura. The green eyes. Wait, wait for me to get in the torch. Keep on him, Char. Keep on him. <whistles> Do I shoot? No, no, no. Wait, wait for him to stop. of time Charlie. He'll stop at the feast. Still everyone be real still. Stay on Char, get a good rest. <coughs> oh he's top on a tree. There's that one there. Can you zoom in? Good stag than, too, good little tiny little stag. There was more than six there. Yeah, there certainly was. The scope wasn't zoomed in enough. And balls here, they were quite a way away. Second from the left is a stag. What one did he shoot? Dunno. Such a nice night now. Oh, well, I guess. Oh, we're we'll just going to have a quick look in one paddock. Oh, we got so carried away. Right? Three paddocks later. <laughs> We're back at the scene of the crime, looking for evidence. Hmm, it's not looking good. Not looking good at all. Old uh, Will asked Charlie to bang with a neck shot, and Charlie's hit it in the neck, he reckons, but not in the spine, and it just took off running. Didn't drop like they usually do when you hit them in the neck with a two, four, three. Ah, bugger. He might have just clipped it. He might have even hit the bank behind it. We just heard a thud and they all started running. They all jumped at the shots. We don't even know what one he was aiming for. Yes, I think young Charlie's going to have to take close shots with the bipod rest from now on in. Since it's not on the surrounding of animals. Well it is on, it's happened, it's in the past, and how are we going to deal with it? I'm not too sure, but it's not good anyway. These girls are selling for Joas. What are your names, ladies? Saskia and Ashley May. Hi. Sweet. They want to go to Wellington. Well, what do you want to go to Wellington for? A holiday. A holiday. All right then, and how much are they? Five dollars a bag for Joas and five dollars a bag of apples. Let me rustle up five dollars here. There you go, give them some money there, Kev. Make sure you give us a good bag, eh? Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks, Thank girls. You. Have fun in Wellington. Yeah. What's your channel called? Ah, uh, the Kiwi Bushman. Okay, hey, we'll make sure we subscribe. Awesome. Yeah, Josh James Kiwi Bushman. You can Google it, and it'll come up. Cheers, girls. See you later. Okay. Oh, some of those fajoas are a bit bruised, girls. Hey, far out. I've had four fajoas. Two have been quite bruised, and two have been good. 50-50. I'm sure the other half of the bag will be delicious. How's yours, Kev? Good. I just oh, had one. Actually. Kev's just had one. It was good. Charlie had one and felt sick because he brushed his teeth and it tasted yuck. <laughs> anyway, we're in Gore Bay. Now we're going back to uh, Will's house. We're not going back home today because this gale force winds over the passes 
and I'm a little bit concerned my boat will blow across the centre line and smash into someone else's car towing this it home. So, oh, that one's not good either. Oh, mate, Kev's had another dud. Don't throw it out. Make sure you eat that not good one. Kev's looking for ducks. Yeah. Anyway, we're not going yeah. bloody home today because of the winds. We're going to stay at Will's house probably for another two days. Meanwhile, on the west coast, it is hammering down. 400 millimetres in the range is expected today, this afternoon. That's a lot of rain. Just seen an apple tree. Going to get some apples. Down has a hole. Yeah, it's just worms. You can eat the worms. Dad, catch. Yum. Oh, um, they're good. Whoa. Well done. The one finger wave is alive and well in Gore Bay. We've had a couple of one fingers. We even got the whole hand then from a, a nice lady tying a horse cart. So very impressed, Gore Bay, with the one finger wave. Shot. Oh, more ducks. Lots of ducks in Gore Bay. Was there ducks? Yeah. Yep. Lots of ducks in Gore Bay. Isn't it a bit early to go spotlighting, Will? A bit early, but got a big, big yellow spotlight for a little bit, so make the most of that. Ah, oh, we're, we're proper hunting, <laughs> kind of. Yeah, shoot it. Shoot it. Just lift your bolt up. Sweet. Oh, it's a red. It's not a fellow. About time. Cheer, bro. I'm going to ask us to shoot these because they're eating us turnips there. Do you think, do you think well, it's the same one you said? That's the same one we saw okay. out here. Yeah, yeah. Quite shot, see? Good shot. We'll go and look for a fellow now. We'll gut this and put it on the truck and we'll go look for a fellow. I should have let account. Kevin shot this one because I won't get a fellow. <laughs> well, you should have said, Kevin, you shoot then. Too late I now, bro. I thought it was a fellow, though. Did anyone bring a knife? Oh, nice. <laughs> we did. Yeah. <laughs> no, we came out last night with no knife okay. too. I wasn't sure if I should shoot it over there because I wasn't sure if we were after a stag or... Uh, 
are just waiting for someone to say, yep, shoot it. Excuse me, Tim. Yep. Sorry, that was my poor communication. Tim just asked us to kill them because of his turnips. What, the red deer? Just what, whatever's on the turnips here. Jesus, there's blood everywhere. You don't want to shoot a stag in the spotlight, Charlie. You'll get a big one in the daytime. Very graphic. I love it. <laughs> Have you done a uh, gutted a few deer before in your time? <laughs> you mean you mean? Josh is oh, quite, Josh, quite yeah. quick. Yeah, he's very very efficient. Like when I did like one skin of Thor, he, he did two, maybe three. Look at that, I can't even find its wind pipe. <laughs> it's been obliterated. What did it? I hit it, Dad? Right, right release from its body. <laughs> in Carol too. Why can I hit it in the heart, dude? You can look at the art. It must be there. Yeah, that's Maybe Josh got it. Yeah. No. Close, no cigar. Heart for dinner, lunch. Breakfast. Liver. Liver is better. Hit the liver and You like the, the liver better, eh? Oh. Hearts. Liver with oh. vinegar. Oh my god, it's so good. Raw or cooked? C cooked. <laughs> 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 Most people put vinegar or stuff to like cook it. Kevin. Mm -hmm. You want to shoot the fella? Yeah, of course. Yeah, we'll jump in the truck. We'll get out of here. Yeah. Well, um, I might back out of here. Just, just, well, I might take some direction. What's the? Uh, how's this gonna roll? So I'll get you to drive. Yeah. I'll jump in the back passenger seat. Sit on the window sill. Shine over. Yep. Have a shooter in the front. That side. Charlie in the back. Good rest on the window so I'll Try and get the good tasty meat animals with some good skins. You all sus, Charlie? Yeah. You got your pillow to rest on on your window so Alright. And Josh will drive. Everyone's got jobs on this mission here. It's like, feels like we're doing it. Rolling up on some gangsters. <laughs> Retaliation shooting. Well, there we go. Managed to shoot the hind and the spiker and completely missed the yearlings. And they weren't fallow, I'm pretty sure they were reds. I think. We'll see when we get in there. They were reds. Bloody camera wasn't focusing. Yeah, <laughs> she was red. all go. And that blimmin' 7mm rim mag with the muzzle brake on it. Easiest way to find it. Wait, I hit him there, I think. I was aiming at one, then I was like, oh yeah, I don't know if Kevin's gonna go for this one. Then bang, that ran off. Oh, yo. Teamwork, that's what it's about. So we usually shoot the legs off first, but uh, we went straight for the kill this time, HR. Yep, if I ever see that there again, I'll shoot its other leg off, and they'll be bugger, and I'll shoot it in the head. Maybe we do a catch and cook liver. Should we take the liver, Kev? We should. You like your liver, don't you? Liver and onions? Yeah, I do. On toast, eh, with heaps of butter? Mm, not onions, like. What? You don't cook liver with onions? No, I put some garlic at yeah. the end, and some vinegar bef uh, before. Just a little bit vinegar, oil, uh, oil sauce. Oil sauce? Olive oil. Olive oil? <laughs> with the oil sauce? Oil oil. Alright, then we'll do a catch and cook deer liver. You mean shoot and cook, not catch? Or shoot and cook, oh yeah, yeah, shoot and cook, true. Well, it was sort of a catch because he went Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let Donut throttle it. You gotta skin it first, so. Skin. Oh yeah, you can. Otherwise, all the skin just dries oh, onto like it like skin. a mummy. Oh, definitely. Hold her up, Kev. Harder, not harder, Charlie. <laughs> oh, that was a good little technique to drop all the blood out. I might refer.
find that. Come on, Charlie. <laughs> Don't have all night, mate. Got to go to bed. Yeah. It's been a long day. Go, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you got a hand on his nut pack. Want me to give you a hand? Yeah, oh yeah, sure. Good job wearing air masks with that. Did you just land and shit? You did too. You got shit all over you. <laughs> you slipped and shit. It's on your boots. It's on my boots, but it's not on my clothes. Alright, there you go, Kev. Chuck it in, Kev. Chuck the uh, liver in there. Charlie would never be able to throw that on. Chuck it inside the animal, bro. It's the best place for it. Josh is just racks and hard what he finds all over the countryside. <laughs> Mate, I saw some mean spots on that. Did you see that big one on the carry yards on the farm today? It was massive. It was longer than the truck. Oh, that, um, that bowl one. Yeah. Three, two, one. At your cousin's place. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, that apple did this. It did this. Up my gut to it. Got shot. This one's actually got a real nice skin, eh? Yeah. How dark she is. Now what you got? Oh, is it wrapped around your bloody tyre? <laughs> I tied the deer up with some cord and it's wrapped around Will's wheel, around his axle. Degrees. Mm. Easy to skin, eh? Hold it there, bro. Whoa. Oh, you dirty hoo! <laughs> Pour his bloody ears off. Shit the bed. Just so that leg's not opened up very well on the other side. Oh, right. I didn't even check that actually. <laughs> we didn't, oh, it's not even opened up at all. <laughs> oh, it's a pace to open your legs up before you rip the skin off. I thought Kev had done that, but he'd done uh, that one back leg and one front leg, not all four. <laughs> oh, shit. You can see where it gave right there. <laughs> Round two. Sweet! Cheer, bro! Do you ever get tired of eating ordinary venison back steak? Wow, Will has the answer for you. It's the front shoulder roll roast. He's going to demonstrate how to do it. You just hack, 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 roll it, herbs and shit. It's pretty dry. We we're just talking maybe if you put mutton fat or something in there. Might be a bit tastier. Go around at that. Around there. Bit there. Yep. This one's about so then. There's a bone that goes to a joint here. Yep. Follow that up. Take it all off that bone there. I put my back out when I was on a station I couldn't work. So I'd sat in the cook shop boning out mutton, rolling mutton legs for two days. 
<laughs> rolling the pimple in. Got to be careful not to go too far through all this one. It's not so bad, but on a mutton and stuff because you've got that nice bark that seals it in. You don't want to put a hole in it because when you stuff it, all your stuffing falls out. Not much room there. <laughs> that shoulder joint is there. So that's the shoulder blade you're working on now, yeah, right up the middle. Okay, it's got a fin on it, so you go one way until you find the fin, then you've got to go up and over the fin. The shoulder blades usually peels right off pretty easy. It's cartilage up the top there, it's easy to put your knife through and you end up with a bit of cartilage in your meat. But it's quite satisfying taking that shoulder blade off, isn't it? Yeah, it comes out really nice. Bone. It's one of my favourite parts on a roast, actually, that meat under there. That's your blade steaks you're taking out. What did you call them? Iron steaks. There's a flat iron. There's a flat iron steak in there. Apparently, it's really in a beef. Now it's really demanded cut, but it's one of the smallest cuts on the animal. We sell it for the most. And you can square it up too, so it rolls easier. Put some stuffing in it. Cat can. <laughs> <laughs> I take this little bit out here. Yep. It's not real nice, it's sort of... Oh, sinewy. Yes, yep. sinewy. Chewy. Chewy. And you can, well, the, once you've got that base, you can cut the meat out of the air to put it in other parts so when you roll it, it rolls evenly. Stuff it, roll it, stuff it, tie up. Easy, yes, it's easier with sheep because they've got when you punch a sheep out, it's got that extra layer of bark, like that layer of the outside skin, and then there's the fat, and that holds it all together. Venison doesn't have that layer, so it's easy to make it too thin. Got a French cuisine here. Which I'm pretty sure that's an English word, cuisine. How do you say cuisine in French? Cuisine. 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 Oh, cuisine. Yeah. And what are you what are you cooking up for us here, Kev? Uh, stag liver uh, with vinegar. Well, there is not one vinegar, so we use balsamic vinegar and olive oil. Yep. Salt, um, peppercorns, and at the end you just have to put some garlic. Sweet. It smells really good. Look at that. Liver is full of minerals. It's full of... Has it got vitamins in it? Must have vitamins. Lots of vitamins. Lots of glucose and crap like that. It's pretty much got everything that an animal needs to get him through the day. It's a fuel tank for the animal's reserves. It's the... Uh, there you go. It's a fuel tank for the animal's reserves. So if you ever want the most nutritious food to get you through the day, I'm pretty sure liver is it. Hearsay, I'm going to stick with that statement though. Would you agree with that Will? Liver's probably got to be the most complete food as far as nutrients go. Yeah, when we check our animals health, that's what they do, the biopsies on, it's the liver. Biopsy the liver, there you go, they punch a little bit out of the liver and biopsy it. Straight from the horse's mouth, liver is good stuff. It takes a while to get used to eating this shit. I hated it when I was a kid. I'm still on the fence as far as if I like it or not, but it's so good for you, I just force myself to eat it because it's bloody nutritious. It can go metallic if it's overcooked. Lobster. Lo what's lobster? Robster. Lobster. Crayfish. Oh. Yeah, mate, tuck in. I don't cook them like this, crayfish. So full, just cut in half and put some Garlic, butter. Hey, Dad. Good. Let's go. Nailed it. Come on, child. Get up there, eat some liver. I did. No, I saw it. Get lots of pine cones? No. Alright, we're going to keep, you can keep getting pine cones. We'll come get you soon. Where you going? You get the motorbike to go get some kelp from along the beach. Oh, Lucy, you've been in the poo-poo, have you? You naughty dog. 
Hey! Seen her eating though. Look at you, guilty as sin. You've been eating the dog turds. Oh, cow turds, is it? Dog. Oh, you stinky mongrel. Hey, look! Oh, look at that stinky coat. Oh, yeah, you rat bag. Hey. Heritage Orchard. This orchard's been here for donkey's years. For yonks and yonks. There's some really mature fajar trees and a bunch of grapefruit trees and we're gonna raid it. Grapefruit! Chuck them in your pockets. I found, so I found lemons. What? I found lemons. Well first we found fajoas, then I found lemons, then we found oranges. We got a whole lot of oranges and then I found grapefruit. Oranges? Yeah. Really? Yeah, I ate one. Whoa, where yeah. are the oranges? Oh, we ate heaps of them right over there and stuff. <laughs> Oh, we've got a dog running around. The council's trying, dog control's trying to catch him. There's dog control. Where's the dog? The There's the dog. Oh, run dog. Yep, oh, there it is. There's the culprit right there. Get him, boys. Get him. Park up, Dad. Park up. Run, Benji, run. <laughs> <laughs> He's running. <laughs> He's running away. Oh, I saved your life, dog. Dog Control are going to be very unhappy with the Kiwi Bushman. Yes, indeed. Benji's ran away. His owner can thank me later. I busted my dog out of the pound once. <laughs> I got in trouble. They got me on camera. Unfortunately, I jumped the fence and I busted her out. They said, Oi, we got you on camera baking a dog out of the pound. I said, Whoa, the bloody Dog Control took him from my yard, didn't they? Not allowed to do that, I'm pretty sure. Oh, Dad! What? This dog control guy went into Zoe's yard and tried to get Griffin. Did he? Yep. My golly. Anyway, we're in Greymouth. Yes. Happy Greymouth. It's been a long trip. Full of deer hunting and fishing and flinching and duck shooting and cracker shots and shit shots, motorbikes and holy moly cooking and the rest of it. An absolute pearl a week over in Kaikoura. Now we're back on the coast where it's been raining very heavily for four days. Home sweet home. Now it's about to get very cold. It's 11 degrees in Greymouth. And I think we might get snow on the hills. We're in for a southerly blast. And not use chemicals that can. G'day mate! Hello! Oh, stay down. <laughs> Come on then, Hi. yes, hello. How you doing old dog? Hey? Good dog. Oh, you stink. Good stinky dog. Hey?